Hello everybody, we have part 5 of our 110 box unboxing. So let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel on part 5 of this 6 or 7 part series, I'm Charles. And along with my wife, Angelique, we run a closet on Poshmark. It's called the Deegans um, because we're not really creative, but links for it will be below. Now, this is the last part of this series that is going to be um, colored items. Um, everything else is whites. I haven't shot it yet because um, I tend to just wait till I get a bunch of whites and then I put the black background up and shoot it then. So... The last part of this series will be, might not come out right away, but I'll make sure to link it in the end card as soon as I, uh, as soon as I can. All right, looking at the rest of these, up first we have a J. Crew medium uh, tank top. I guess this would be a tank top, uh, maybe just a no sleeve um, top. Now it does have the back that is kind of open, kind of not. Uh, so I guess that's something that you wear underneath, a, maybe underneath a blazer or something. Um, I don't know. I don't know how any of this stuff is supposed to be worn because I do not try it on, believe it or not. All right. Up next we have a mystery uh, because there's no tag. Uh, they're Le Skinny de Ginny Cope. And let's look at the button. Oh, they are... Look at that. I don't know if that's going to focus. There it is. They are frame. Okay. Now that's, that's a really nice brand. I forgot that these were frame. Okay, so these are a pair of black jeans. Um, they are size 26. But they do have some stretch to them, so I was able to get them onto the legs mannequin. Um, normally, I have to do size 28, 29, 30 um, to get onto that mannequin. But if they stretch, they go on and they look great. Okay, up next is a Very J Small. Um, and these are a pair of pants. Now, they have kind of this... Uh, they do have some stretch up top, um, so I was... Actually, they're really loose on the mannequin, um, so I suppose I just need to tie them. I missed this when I shot them, but they have um, they do have a drawstring and a fly. Well, now I think Very J is a good brand. Um, I'm not too too familiar with it, but. I've seen it come up a couple times in some boxes that we that were uh, better stuff. So I'm going to assume it's a better brand and um, be happy about it because I'm trying to stay positive. All right, up next we have a Bursch, Bershka, Bershka. We'll just call it. We'll say Bershka. Uh, these are a U.S. small uh, Mexican 26. So I. Don't know if that means they're 26, a size 26, or maybe sizes are different in Mexico. I don't know. I don't really see a whole lot of Mexican sizes. Anyway, these are a pair of, um, I guess they're a pair of windbreaker pants. Um, they they have no fly, but they do have two buttons. But those buttons are not real buttons in the front. They are just for decoration. They don't come unsnapped. Um, and it does have the drawstrings at the bottom. Speaking of at the bottom, one thing I forgot to mention about those frame pants, because I was so excited about them being frame, is that they have um, zippers on the bottom, um, around the ankles. So um, I don't really know that that would adjust the size too much, uh, probably just for decoration, but there, just another thing to know. Now, up next, we have another nice brand of jeans. These are seven for all mankind. 
Nice. Now, um, I know Seven for All Mankind because it's one of the brands that my wife always tells me to get when I go into the store looking for jeans. Uh, is that going to focus? There, you can kind of see it on the button there. Um, anyway, these are also newer tags. And I can see the price. Oh, I just showed the price upside down. I can see the price on these with the new tag, and these are a quite a pricey pair of pants. So really, really good to get these in that box. Now they were a size 26, and they don't have a whole lot of stretch, so I couldn't get them on the mannequin. Um, they the legs fit fine, but I got to the waist. Um, I figured I'd try it just because I really wanted to get a nice shot of these, but unfortunately they're just a hair too small to get on that mannequin. So I did have to hang them up and shoot them, but. They are a really nice pair of pants, and they are in excellent condition. Um, at the bottom, the bottom are wide legs. I wouldn't quite call that a bell bottom, but it's still a pretty wide leg at the bottom. So definitely something you could wear over some boots um, in the fall, in the winter, and they're going to fit right over those great, um, or just a good pair of pants to wear year-round. I personally avoid wearing shorts, so... Any pair of jeans is year-round jeans for me. Okay, up next we have Banana Republic. Um, Ryan, um, I guess that's the style. Um, and they are o OP size, so maybe that's petite. Maybe that's not petite. I don't know. Is there a different um, tag? Again? Oh, there's a, that's a zero petite. Okay, there we go. All right, and these are a nice pair of slacks. Um, they do have the zipper and the hook um, and the button, so plenty of, oh, need to zip them up. Yep, the zipper works. Um, so plenty of ways to keep these pants fastened. Um, no damage. Again, another really, really good pair of pants. Um, well, maybe just one really. But, nice pair of pants and a lot of this business wear is going to do great eventually okay up next we have another very j um now this is this is new with tags um they are dylan dillinger pants well dillinger pant according to the tag uh they are a size medium these did go on the mannequin i did use a little bit of tape to keep them up because they were just a hair big but they still went on the mannequin and looked really nice. Now, the tag said they were Dillinger pant, but they're in fact pants. Fun fact, a pant is a single leg. That's why they're called a pair of pants. Uh, back before pants were, back before, um, I guess, modern uh, sewing, machines came around. Pants were actually two legs that were then fastened at the waist um, to keep them together and they were individually called pants. Well, they were individually called a pant. Um, so you had two of them and that's where the term pair of pants comes from. All right, up next we have another pair that is new of tags. These are CWST, um, which I'm sure stands for something. Uh, they are made in the USA size 28. Um, these are a pair of pants with a button fly now. These are really nice. Um, they didn't quite fit on the mannequin, despite being a 28. Um, I don't know if they just run a little bit smaller, uh, but uh, that's besides the point. Now, these are really nice, but they did have one flaw. Um, they had a little hole, if I can find it. I remember it was on one of the legs. Um, so, oh, there it is. So they just had this little tiny flaw right there, but other than that, a great pair of pants and new tags. Um, so, um, and it's a little disappointing about that hole. I don't know if it's something we'll try to stitch up or if it's something we'll try to um, just sell as is um, and note the flaw, but just another good pair of pants. All right. We are almost done with the pants for this um, video. I did save a bunch of the pants to do all at once just because it's easier that way um, for me to just do a bunch of pants, do a bunch of shirts, and do all colored and all whites and 
Um, it's just easier if I shoot that way because I don't have to switch out a bunch of stuff. Okay, up next we have a pair of Lush. Um, and these may have been newer tags, but it appears like the tag came off. They have a safety pin there, which is where they would attach the tag. So, I don't know. Um, probably can't advertise as new with tags if it doesn't actually have the tag, which sucks. But other than that, um, very nice pair of pants. Now, they do, have a, they do include a belt. And they have the inside button, outside hook, and zipper. Um, the zipper, uh oh, zippers, nope, zipper works, hook works, and the button works. So all of those work. The belt I know works, um, but just another great pair of pants. Now we are on to the shirts, the tops for the section, I think. Oh, nope, one more bottom. Uh, up next, we have a Club Monaco um, skirt. Uh, this is a size zero. I do remember this did go on the mannequin, um, so we've already shot it. And I think we, my wife is already trying to um, wheel and deal to sell this. Um, so, because we already did have someone express interest in it, um, and they wanted they wanted exact measurements. Because you know sometimes with the sizes, size zero could mean a lot of different things to a lot of different companies. Uh, but it's a really nice dress, a nice shade of green. It dress, really nice skirt. It does, um, it does kind of bell out at the bottom. So I wish our mannequin had a little bit more bendy legs, so I could kind of like spread, give her a little bit wider stance, um, really show off that 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 bottom. But oh well, could not do that. But it still still looked great. Um, and if it's already getting interest, it must not have been too bad of a shot. All right. Up next, we have a green, a green Q and A top. Um, yeah, and this has the fake buttons in the front. These are not real buttons; they are fake, just for decoration. But it does have the hook and zipper in the back. So, still easy to get in, easy to get out of. <laughs> At least for the mannequin it was. Um, and anyway, uh, this is a, I guess it's just a tank top, you'd call it. Um, it does have these, uh, it does have this kind of a uh, tiering at the sides. Um, those aren't pockets like I thought they were when I first shot it. So no pockets on this, no buttons on this, but definitely stylish top that um, should do pretty well. All right, up next, this is going to be the last shirt for the box. Uh, we have a Zara Woman shirt, a button, button up shirt, and it's got these little goldfish all over it. So you can see there all the little goldfish. Um, yeah. Well, it does go all the way. That's what normally. Also, the, not only a little bit funner shirt, um, not sure how well the pattern, the shirts with the patterns that are unusual like that do for us, but um, it is a Zara, so we've had some luck recently with Zara's, so I'm pretty sure that'll do just fine. All right, now we can get into the three pairs of shoes that were in the box. Uh, first, we have a pair of J. Crew flats. Uh, they are a size six and a half, as you can see there, and it says they are genuine leather. Um, so it does look like on the insides these are leather. Leather, obviously, this is not leather on the outside um, with the striped um, pattern. Uh, well, oh, nice pair of flats. Um, they are pointed toe, and they do have this bow. These bows do not come undone. So they're not adjustable in any way, but they're just a pretty basic pair of flats. Um, we've actually sold a couple pairs of flats recently, so I'm happy about that. Um, okay, up next we have a Urban Outfitters. Now, I know that this is not going to show. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to have to take my word for it. Um, or if I can get... Uh, maybe if I can get the right angle. No. 
Uh, but on the bottom it does say uh, UO, as you can see right there, just barely. And you can also see that they're a size 8. Now, other than the um, other than some of the scuffing on the bottom, uh, the top part looks very nice. And I did, as always, check the zipper, and the zippers work. So um, they're that pair of size. They're that pair of zip of the side boot heels that my. Uh, I'm pretty sure I mention this every single time I find a pair like this. But my, all the women in my family just absolutely love this style. So. I, assuming that assuming that they have good fashion sense, which I'm pretty sure my wife does, um, being that she kind of picks all the clothes that we sell and we seem to sell a lot of clothes, I think uh, I think these will do just fine. All right, and the last pair of shoes that we have in the box are a pair of what were these? Um, Let's see. There we go. Is that going to... Sh I don't know if it's going to focus or not. There we go. They're a pair of Doc Martens. Now, and you can see that I guess I could have just showed that. Um, or that. <laughs> anyway, uh, they're a pair of Doc Martens boots. Now, they are a little bit scuffed up, um, but... Our last pair of Doc Mertens sold for um, full price, and they were they were actually Angelique's um, pair of Doc Mertens that she got back in high school, or maybe maybe just after high school. A really old pair of Doc Mertens that she had, and they sold for full price. And they're she said she only wore them a couple times because uh, they're so nice. Um, she didn't want to wear them out. Anyway, these are a size US eight, um, and other than the scuffing on the toes. Um, on both of the shoes, they're um, in pretty good condition. The soles don't look too worn down. Um, the the sides, the heels. Um, so maybe we'll just try to clean up the toes a little bit. Although I don't think that's just like, yeah, those are those are scratches. So, but they're Doc Martens. Doc Martens tend to go even if you have that um, little bit of wear on them. All right, at this point. I would like to tell all the younger viewers in my audience to please go to bed because we're going to look at some few more things that came in the box. So let me just set the mood here. There we go. Got the lights nice and low. Maybe light a few candles. So we're going to look at this Zara. Now this is a We'll just call this a piece of lingerie. This is a U.S. medium, a Mexico 28, and a European medium. It is a Zara, um, assuming Zara women's, um, no judgment here, but it's a Zara top, um, and it does button at the bottom. So it is, uh, oh, I button those wrong. Whoops. How is this? And it is probably something I should have put on the mannequin to show off. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. Um, we have actually sold a couple things of our Victoria's Secret um, recently, so maybe that'll do good. Uh, maybe with everybody being stuck at home right now, the lingerie is going to do better. Who knows? I am recording this on early April, like, it's the 4th? I think it's the 4th of April. Um, okay, up next we have this uh, Victoria's Secret Sport. Uh, this is a, I think that's, I think it'd be v VS is Victoria's Secret. Uh, does it say on here? Anywhere else? Oh yeah, Victoria's Secret. Um, and this is a sports bra. Now, it's kind of interesting because it has this zipper. So this front part comes all the way off. And then on the inside, it has another um, set of cups that hook together with a... Um, let's see if I can get it apart here. Yeah, it has another set of cups that are 
together with this hook device. Um, so put a couple layers. Um, I don't know. So I guess it provides a lot of extra support. Um, maybe something for maybe something for when it gets a little bit colder outside, so you can work out and still be still be very warm. Um, and of course, I mean it has the adjustable straps like most sports balls do. All right, and last but not least is this. What is? In time, in time to that's ah, it says free people right below that. I don't know why I bothered with the free people labels. They always put it in some somebody's atrocious handwriting. That's probably actually really nice handwriting. I just can't read. Um, anyway, it's a free people brawl. Um, now it does have the two hooks on the back that adjust for three different sizes and it kind of has like a felt velvety um let me actually see if i can see the materials here on the tag you know free people put stuff in so many different languages that i can never find the english um oh, do not dry clean do not iron lay out flat and reshape to dry use non-chlorine bleach do not wring or twist Hand wash, cold separately, no materials, shell. Yeah, it's polyester. <laughs> okay, so that's not helping anybody, but hmm, it's nice. Um, and it's free people, free people. Oh, it has an additional hook. I don't know if I attached that when I... I think I attached that when I shot it. I hope I did. Anyway, eh, nobody really looks at the back on these. <laughs> you know, you shoot it on the back and it's, you can't tell anything um, with the brawls when you put them on the mannequin. Um, but it's a free people brawl, um, so free people does very well, um, so that should sell for a nice price. Okay, um, that's gonna be, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me just get back to, okay, there we go. Back to my usual level of lighting. No ending the, ending the romantic part of the video where I look at brawls and lingerie. I love you, Angelique. Anyway, I'm happy with that. Um, last bit of the box, yeah. Um, like I said, the last bit of the color in the box. Um, the whites still need to be shot. Um, that may come couple videos later. I'm I'm really really liking those pants and uh, and those um those shoes. Uh, the Doc Martens are a great addition to the box. Um, the the other shoes are in good condition and should do should do really well for us. And that free people brawl. Um, it's free people. Now we I think we sold one or two brawls and they're not our hottest selling item, but free people definitely is. So We'll see how that does. All right. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, comment, and um, subscribe. All that stuff below. It's You know how to use YouTube. I don't have to tell you, but I always will. Most of the time. When I remember. Okay. Until next time, I've been Charles. I'll see you.